what's up blah 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 so I got this uh, new project coming up a uh, mini hex so the frame is only a mock-up frame I won't be flying with this frame this this frame is only for testing and the reason is because uh, motor manufacturer says one thing about the trust then the e-calc says the other thing once I put it on my once I put it on my test to test the prop and trust and amps it says another thing and once you're flying an actual copter it's another thing so uh, before I proceed with my fancy fancy knitted frame like one of these I wanna I wanna get this one flying up and see and testing now uh, some very cool features in there I got my these custom custom ESCs the slims they will be going to mass production uh, there's a board I think, I think it's like 26 by 26 mil there's a copy of a of a, a NASA 32 uh, with the base flight on everything is going through the D boost configuration uh, to the power so I got this thing that I fried already because I connected wrong this is the they will be going it, it's a BC a power sensor and a buzzer all in one and it's only three gram and I also got um, also got a separate BC for another for another things that I fried it as well what a brilliant magician I am with the bloody white smokes that are fried as well. There's only one gram, it's rated and one amp roughly. So cool new features to test. So before uh before I put everything on um on a fancy frame, I wanna get this one flying and see will I get away with the 3.7 amp capacity of a battery in there. So Without the dead weight, it was nearly 700 grams all of flying weight. Uh, so I added on another 100 grams just just to see what's it gonna be like. What I, what I still gonna like the all of flying weight because the, that will represent my FPV gear and my fancy frame will 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 probably have to be stronger than the one of the usual stuff because this is now 800 grams that's what i think it will be max all up flying weight for my for my finished copter so stuck on everything anyhow see the mess of a wiring not my style but i won't be flying this one it's only for testing so i lift it up i lift it up with the 700 grams all up flying weight and and it has shit loads of power like it, it would be very good so we'll see what's it gonna be now with 800 grams Right, so let's get outside and jump a little bit up and down, okay? Okay, so I got this powered up. Let's arm it. Right, first thing I want to see, uh, these are the ESCs. I had to solder some few of these little crabs or whatever. That's kind of defined my knowledge of about the electronics. So make sure they're not twitching or anything. She's a screamer, right? Okay, let's see. Level on, level off. <sighs> okay. Let's try with the level on. Um, when I hooked on to the um, base flight GUI to Chrome configurator, it was it was all PIDs on the on the stock settings for 4.0 both for pitch and roll didn't didn't touch anything in there accelerometers has to be trimmed a bit as i can see okay now what we have here hovering at roughly 45 percent 45 to 50 percent not particularly like that much when I lifted with 700 grams, it was 35, 40%. So I'd say if I leave it at 800 grams, all the flying weight is just gonna be like a normal copter. But if I want to nip a turbo machine, I'll have to, I'll have to squeeze to 700 grams, all the flying weight roughly. But she's smooth as hell.
and this is the stock PIDs. It doesn't have that much of a punch. Well, a little bit. Ah, uh, she's a little bit heavy with 800 grams. Okay, level off. I can feel a little bit on the heavy side, I think. Even the PIDs are good as stock. Level on. Right, so what's left to do is go out in the field, check some different settings, keep on testing, check the flying time, and then we can start moving on on the fancy frame. Right, so enough for now. Bye bye.